What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of GT Team Outdoors. We are at Lake Paris for the ABA uh, tournament. It is April 29th, and uh, yeah, we're gonna see what we can do. I mean, I always say this, but I got a really good feeling about this freaking derby. Uh, I was able, so with ABA, you can't pre-fish the week of the tournament. So all we have is what? Well, I mean, I pre-fished it three weeks ago and two weeks ago, and uh, I was on a pretty good bite. I was a pretty good uh, drop shot and flipping bite into the trees. Um, I can't see the trees anymore today. <laughs> they let the water in and it's like 10 feet higher. Um, but yeah, we're on our way to our first spot. Lines in is at seven. Yeah, seven o'clock. So we're gonna see what we could do guys. Wish me luck and uh, yeah, freaking autopilot. I love this thing, dude. This thing is killer, man. Beautiful sunrise in the background. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys at the first spot. Just about lines in time. It is seven o'clock. First cast out of the way. Took forever, but we got one. I don't know if it's legal. Got him pinned though. Yeah, he's fucking legal. Surprising. Thirteen and a quarter, I think. This guy has freaking hooks. Sorry, I didn't show the camera. Out, of course, there it is. That's a good one. 18 and a half, 18 to 5.
Pretty sure that's number five. There's a little bass on the bed right here. Hopefully it's bigger than 13. Oh, it is bigger than 13. Come here. Wow, nice, dude. What the? That's crazy, bro. I saw a little bed and I'm like, ah, let me flip on there really quick. And uh, I don't know. Found a little tap. I was like, what the hell? That'll definitely call. It's a good call. 13 or 17. Oh, yeah, get some. Dude, I was really into recasting this big girl took it. It's cool, baby. That's a good one. <clears throat> she was pinned, bro. It's a good one. Probably like an eight foot. Pretty sure there's another one sitting on that rock right there. God, dude, there's so many people, it's not even funny. Pretty sure that's 17. Let's go. Hey, you good? 
Maybe I should have revived him a little bit. Yeah, that's what I thought. Should be 15 to 5. I think. Ooh. That dude wanted it, bro. Please be over 16. It doesn't look like he looks small. Nah, he might be. Nah, he's a little thick bastard. I'm pretty sure this dude's on a bed. There's another fish with him. Seventeen and a half. Super skinny fish. All right, guys. Well, let's see how we ended up, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys at the award ceremony tomorrow night. All right, man. I I honestly, congratulations, JD. But I I honestly can't can't even really believe. I can believe, but I can't believe that. Um, I'm about to announce this again. Okay. So for the second time in our series, Mr. Anthony Garcia takes home the W, back-to-back -back wins in our series specific. And he came by the house early today, and we hung out and had a good time. And I know that he's on a he's just on an absolute heater right now. And I don't even know if we can really call it a heater anymore. I don't think there's another word for it. But I believe he's like five or six for six. Today, he took a top three at Urban Anglers, but I mean, man, a top three right after going six for six or whatever it was. Mr. Anthony Garcia, G Team Outdoors. Let's bring him in here. Bro, first off, take your stuff off mute really quick. Take your take your mic off mute. Hi, what's up, everybody? You should you should be used to this flow by now, okay? I, I shouldn't even have to tell you that to take it off mute because you've been yeah. on like 10 of these things. Shit. All right, bro. <laughs> Let me let me say this. Okay, so we had you you had it for 88 and a quarter. Your smallest fish was 17 inches. You called four times, and you are going to be taking home first place hardware plus 